Hey guys, happy June. I can't believe it is the beginning of June already. Anyways, I just wanted to do this little video to show you guys um, my infant carrier. I've seen a couple of people in the Reborn community showing the different brands of infant carriers they have. So I thought I would show you mine. So this is an older um, brand. My friend Nicole gave this to me when I went to visit her in North Dakota <clears throat> and I went in 2009 so it's quite old um, but it's still in excellent shape because I don't really use it all that often but it is the Infantino brand and it's black and then the inside is like a plaid color and it has this little contraption that attaches to it which I guess is supposed to be kind of like a little bib thing like you know if the baby spits up it's not going to get all over the front of your clothes but really it doesn't really give much coverage so I can't really see it protecting you all that much and then there's also this little thing on the side which I believe would be maybe to hold a pacifier um, I'm guessing it's like a little pacifier clip um, so this is what it looks like at the back it has these the crisscross straps and it has this part in the middle like that it's like a plastic piece um, and it just has these big clips that clip um, the straps into place and then there's the leg holes there so it is nice in that um, the part that goes between the legs is not very wide so the baby's legs don't really go apart very much um, and then there's some little adjustment straps on the side and some up here as well and it can be worn like this or you can roll it down um, the baby can either face you or face out um, depending on the age and whatever so yeah so that is the carrier and I will demonstrate it with a baby in there um, to show you guys a little bit better but that's generally it's very basic that's what it is and I mean it is pretty comfortable um, but I really like some of the newer models like what Yvonne has of My Little Tulip. I love the fact that it can just like fold up into like a little pouch that you can just like throw in your bag um, whereas this doesn't really fold up it's pretty bulky it's um, you know these clips are so big like to be able to fold it up it's not the most foldable item so but let's see what it looks like when it's put on with a baby in it okay guys so I'm just in my bathroom mirror to show you so this is what it looks like um so I have Savannah in there right now, and of course she's one of my smaller babies. So she kind of is like completely hidden in there, um, which is another thing I don't really like too much about this. Um, if you can see from this angle, so look at her head. Like even if I turn it to the side, like she's just her face is totally covered um, now I mean I guess for some people that would be a, a good thing <laughs> um, if you don't want the doll to be seen um, it's a good way to like kind of hide it but I don't know like it just looks weird to me even if it was a real baby I would just feel like it's smothered <laughs> Um, now, like I said, you can um, 
roll this down. I can't really remember how to do it. Um, but you can roll this part down a bit. But as you can see, it still doesn't really do much. <laughs> in, I mean, in terms of Savannah here, like, who's so small. But, yeah. So, that's... Let's see if we can come into focus. So, that's how it fits. Um, so, it goes around like that. I'll show you the back in a minute, but... That's basically how it goes. So, yeah. Um, I did use this the first time I went to the doll show when I went with my mom. And I had my Buggy Brown kit in it. And I actually put her facing out. So, I'll insert a picture of that for you guys too. So that you can see what it looks like having the baby out. But, I mean, I was at a doll show. So, I didn't care like that people knew it was a doll. That was the whole point was that... Um, I wanted people to see her so I had her facing out and you could actually I put her hands up which kind of propped her up so you could see her face better but yeah Savannah's like totally hidden in there but um I think I'm gonna try Landon in it for you guys because he is a bigger baby so we'll see how he looks in it Okay, so now I have Landon in here, and you can see he works a lot better in this than a smaller baby. His head's a little bit up, and you can see his face and his arms are down here. But I would have to say one of the things that I really hate about this particular model of an infant carrier is it is a pain to get the baby in and out. I honestly cannot imagine anyone doing this with a real baby because you can't, it's not like the newer ones where you can open this whole part and place your baby in, hold them, and then clip it shut. You have to like lower them in and like jiggle it to get like the legs in place and then like fuss with getting the arms in place and then to try and like pull them out like if the pull and like it usually pulls like the whole carrier up with it so it is like you know it's an old model they don't really make these anymore I don't think so I'm pretty sure they've like perfected it but yeah if you got like one of these at like a thrift store or something just be forewarned it is a pain in the butt to get your baby in and out of this um, and then here again if you want to roll it down but of course like if you had a real baby if they don't have head support you would want to have it up so that they can support their head um, but yeah that's pretty much how it looks and this is how it looks on the back with the crisscross strap and yeah so that's my infant carrier I don't really use it too much because to be quite honest, I find it a pain in the butt to use. I mean, once it's on and you have your baby in, it is convenient. Like if I've taken it to doll shows a couple of times so that my hands are free and stuff, but it's just a pain to get on and to get the baby in and then get the baby out. Like, yeah, I don't know how anyone would use this for a real kid to be quite honest with you. I really don't know how they would do it for a real baby. So. But that is the Infantino Infant Carrier. That's how it works with the reborn babies. And yeah. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my infant carrier. The good and the bad of it. <laughs> and thanks so much for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Babies dressed for Lupus Awareness Month. I finally was able to get them all dressed. Yay! <laughs> so I just thought I would show you. Um, here is Grace. She is wearing this purple butterfly shirt with these pink shorts because it is a super hot day here today. Summer just came rolling right in really fast. It started yesterday. I think it was yesterday.